Oh, I don't know if cops, it was cops harassed us all the time. They used to arrest some of the people when they'd be on the mic because we didn't have a permit. Oh. But we would have, like, we have the banners here. This is exactly what we did. We had 9-11 as an inside job. Here. No police state on our banners. It's here. Yes, here. And we would meet foreign people who were visiting from Europe. We would meet tourists from all over America. And they would all say to us, we're so happy you're here. Because after Bush did all that, all those lies after 9-11, and he put everybody in fear, and he was taking away our constitutional right, right. to tell everybody to be scared and just go shopping. We were here speaking the truth. We were here three days a week, uh, you know, and and three days a week was better than nothing. We yeah. put up the banners, Through this. anybody could speak on the mic. Now 24-7. Well, that's well. I'm going to be coming here. This is the new place. I'm so here. tomorrow you you're going to come here, not Zakati Park. Uh, yeah, because if this is where the action is, I'm not going to get yeah. down there if there's nothing happening. No, I would rather. First of all, where I live, I can now down there. I had to take the R train, so I had to take local. No, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. But I can take the N train and the express be here in the same amount of time because it just goes a couple of stops in, uh, in Manhattan and I'm here. It goes to Canal, uh, 8th Street by NYU, and then we come here. Yeah, I have a last question. You know, do you think uh, this is a real my old home from no police state, so I'm very happy to be back here. How, 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 how many years ago? Uh, we were here, we started right away at 9-11. We started at 9-11, that's when we all met, because everybody came here. People had flowers, they were, for a few weeks, it was wall to wall people here, and we rode all over the, the statue here. Yeah. No war and peace, and we made peace signs. People got in there and painted all over, and then they came and washed the door. But, and we all met here, and for a while, there was a lot of people after that. After that, it got a little more or less, but we were staying here, and we were here three days a week, probably for a few years, in the early 2000s. And, and then, then gone. well, because the cops, the cops, this, you know, the longer we stayed here, the more the cops kept the arrest Oh, and so, harassment. Oh, oh harassment. Yeah. And the further we got away from 9-11, people were beginning to forget. Oh. You know, the, cr the crowds were getting smaller. Right. So, what happened now, that's why, excuse me, I can Last year was like a miracle when everybody came back with Occupy because nothing was nothing was happening for a few years and then Occupy and now hooray hooray who do you think live in these buildings do are they residential I see some people um, there are some residents oh yes yeah thank you for asking that we got these, the same, these buildings we got the same garbage from the cops here that they were doing was downtown they would tell us you have to be quiet because people are sleeping first of all quiet there were there were people here like there always are dancing singing the buses are going by 24 7. the ambulance the fire trucks everything going by 24 7. you know but we got a lot of harassment when we had no police state here but we were here for a while so some some residential buildings there might be things like downtown there are some big people who live here they live way up in the sky they have money they have good strong windows they do not hear us they don't hear us it's a lot of crap they don't they don't uh, come and talk to us no the cops did the cops were, were harassing us telling us we, we had a, and we, these people uh, don't like us we couldn't have a microphone because it was bothering people oh and we didn't we ne we never did the mic check the mic check is something new yeah. the mic check started at occupy wow but when we were in no police state so this mic check is uh, is, 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 is so it was not known to american uh, protesters before i don't know but we didn't use it at no police state no well if uh, someone knew it before they would tell they you probably would have told us the exactly. first time exactly. Exactly. so it probably wasn't known before yeah and these people uh, live there and they will uh, come and join us you never uh, think so probably not the rich people are not on our side and you know what folks we don't need the one percent right they don't want us and we don't need them you believe them they're really one percent they're they're rich enough they're rich enough. or at least mentally they, they think they're first of all 
rents are pretty expensive in nice neighborhoods like this in Manhattan. Like what? So, I, I don't know exactly. That's somewhere. I don't know. But they cheap. I don't know. Thousands. 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 Yeah, thousands. Okay. And, uh, you know. They wouldn't come here, right? To join us. I don't remember anybody. Honestly, the few years I was here, I don't remember anybody coming here and saying to me, oh, I live right across the street. No, I don't. And I, you never we think so. people here from all over the world, but and they told us they were shocked we were here because what they heard over in Europe was that everybody loves Bush. And we told them everybody in America does not love Bush. Wow, interesting. And we were able to do that because we yeah. were here and a lot of tourists would be here. Yeah. And they said they were very glad to see us. Right. You know, because they could go back home to Europe and yeah. say that we really didn't like Bush. So this is the thing. Things, good stuff happens by word of mouth. And by us being here, we're going to meet people from all over. You know? Are you going to go with the uh, old style word of mouth? Old style what? Word of mouth. Oh, word, that's me. Or new technology. I think I told you, but I'll say it once more. I told you another night. Yeah. Where I live in Bay Ridge, a very conservative, mostly white neighborhood, where there are Republicans and conservatives, and they all wave the flags, and it should be upside down according to the Constitution. But, uh, but that's Bay Ridge is not a rich area like these buildings. Oh. Yeah, uh, well, there are very rich areas in Bay Ridge, wow. and, and there are also a lot of people like firemen and cops that make a decent living, they have houses, uh, you don't find many people like me out there. Well, no. in society, uh, sociology, that's called lower middle class, right? Oh, uh, you know what? This is I a mean, higher middle class. Oh, okay. well, this would be upper, yes. Upper. But this is why we have to try somehow to get, I don't know or even fine but somehow we have to try to get through to middle class blue collar people like them because uh, I used to be a member uh, of uh, 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 a truth about 9-11 we truth, used to meet yeah. down in St. Mark's and we don't meet right. anymore but we're all still around and we still do preach that when we, when we can I write it on my shirts and everything uh, Oh, yeah, this is a percent. perfect, perfect oh. place, huh? Yeah, exactly, yeah. But so, anyway. middle class, so you think that... Uh, oh, thank you for saying yeah. that, excuse me, yeah. before I forget it. Yeah. Uh, the organizer down there, Les was his name, uh, used to say, if we can get middle class white people to believe their government would kill them, right. the whole 9-11 movement would grow. Yeah. And I came from a fire department, my family, my brother, my father, background. My brother is retired, my father's dead. My brother is now in Homeland Security in Florida, like a, like a lot of firemen and cops. And they don't get it. They think we're terrorists. Yeah, hi. Okay, how are you? Oh, you got up here. I went to Foley, I didn't see it. I walked all over to the atrium. Anyway, I'll see you later. Yeah. I was just telling someone how hard it was to find this. That was one of the two guys that was down in the park tonight besides me. And he followed me to Foley Square and he finally came up here. So I'm glad that he came up here too. So I have to say, folks, I think there is a guy or there's somebody that's talking to us. Because something made me say, don't go home, try Union Square. And I did. And whoever led me here, I'm very happy. Are you going to so, stay here a long time now? Uh, uh, this I'll today? stay as long as I can tonight. And I'll be coming back every day. Wow. I'm not going to stay overnight, but I'll come back. But you're not going to go back to Zikati yeah, unless yeah, there is... As, mu as much as I'm... Um, Young and spirit, tough yeah. my age. Yeah. Uh, most of these kids are half my age. Yeah. So I'm allowed to go home with them. You're not going to sleep here, though. Oh, no. no, no. Uh, All right. Thank you, buddy. Oh, thank you. If I get a chance to talk, I never stop. That's why I have no voice. Ha ha! No <laughs> you never win! I've been yelling for three days. Oh, three that's why. Right. Not, not talking yeah. to the camera. I told you before, I was yelling at the cops all afternoon. That's why. Because right. they were going after, oh, going after our books. Oh. And as people can see, I was written all over the front and back of my shirt. So can you tell people? Uh, I am not afraid of the cops. And I am not afraid to get in their face with my shirt. 
Can you tell me what's uh, what's written here? Police state, right? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. No police state, right? Well, well that's what I think should be called. Thank you for it. Yeah. yeah. Cops are one percent slaves. Yeah. So actually, cops are uh, 99, but they are slaves. Oh, if, yeah, thank you. I added that because I do not believe they are the one percent, but I do believe they are slaves for the one percent. Yeah. Yeah, like like we are slaves too, but but we are fighting slaves. Yeah, thank you. They're always slaves. That's yeah. what, like in this country, slaves get forced to get away with the underground railroad. Right. Okay. So and there are, there, are, there are house slaves. We know that we're slaves and we're fighting back. Right. See, that's the difference. Exactly. So they're, they're fighting for the 1%. We're fighting yes. the slavery. What people used to say back in slavery time, the people that don't get involved were the house Negroes. Right. They had the better positions, they got better clothing, they dressed up because they were cooking in the house for the right. family, the rich white bastards, part of right. the French. Anyway, oh, I shouldn't say French, we got the wrong person. No, we don't. Listen, I love the French people, and as I said before, we had two bad pipes that came down to Liberty Park the other night, St. Patrick's night, playing bad pipes, and the cops stopped them right away and said, no noise from 11 o'clock. Now, you know, a Saturday night in Pasadena, there were bad pipes blasting all over the city, but we couldn't have them in Liberty Park. So they're full of it. Welcome these, to democracy. These were foreign tourists that were nice enough to come to Liberty Park to occupy and bring us the bagpipes. And this is how they were welcomed by our fascist NYPD, which is a disgrace. And Bloomberg, if your friends are... Oh, is it... You're out now? I'm on. No, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Bloomberg, if you hear from all your spies that are watching this right now, you have a nerve to treat foreign tourists. They are a lot of money they bring to the city and you say you like them. Uh, these Bullshit. men that paraded in the St. Patrick's Day Parade uh, were trying to bring music to Occupy, had their bagpipes destroyed. They are going to go home to France and badmouth you and your NYPD fascist Gestapo unit all over Europe. One person will tell another and another and another. So Bloomberg, uh, I call you Bloom Turd, and Bloomberg, Bloom -turd, I was right? at the all-inclusive, uh, gay-inclusive St. Patrick's Day Parade last Saturday in Woodside, Queens, and I'm the one that got in front of you at the stage and booed you and told you stop destroying Occupy Wall Street. Well, so I'm here and you little piece of crap, I'm not afraid of you. What he said, I hope you hear this. What he said, he didn't say you anything, move. he just waited till I stopped, that's all. And I, I wasn't going to call, I wanted to let him know that I was representing Occupy. Oh. But, and then I just got in line for the march. I wasn't there to get arrested. Oh. I was there to march. And, and by the way, I marched with this with the with the vet 